Hello and welcome back to Black Excelist. We are continuing our multi-part series on kids of black billionaires. But today's focus is on Africa. Every year, more and more black billionaires are joining the Three Comma Club, which means more and more billionaire babies are being enshrined into this super elite group. Whether their parents are tech moguls, equity investors, oil magnates, athletes or entertainers, many of them are carving out their own paths. In this original Black Excellus series, our focus is on the black billionaire families that live on the continent of Africa. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to Black Excellus. This is where we celebrate black excellence, achievement and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. The family of billionaire Mike Adenuga. With his first wife, Emilia Marquis, he fathered children. Aditutu Oyinda Mola, Prince Babajide Michael, Bella, Abimbola, Eniola, and Paddy. With his second wife, Titi Joyce Adenuga, he fathered children, Adeni and Sade. Mike Adenuga, Nigeria's second richest man, built his fortune in telecom and oil production. Adenuga supported himself as a college student in America by driving cabs in New York, where he obtained an MBA. He made his first million at the age of 26 by selling lace and distributing soft drinks. Today, he owns Globacom, the third largest telecommunications business, as well as his highly successful oil exploration outfit, Conway. With millions of members, Globacom, his mobile phone network, is the third largest operator in Nigeria. Additionally, six oil blocks are operated by his oil exploration business, Conoil Producing, in the Niger Delta. The Nigerian billionaire launched Globacom in 2003 and it has since grown to be one of the biggest telecom firms in Nigeria with operations in Ghana and the Republic of Benin. Over the years, his net worth has varied, peaking at a high of $10 billion in 2015. Adenuga's first wife, Emilia Adefolak Marquis, is from Calabar in Cross River State. Her union with Mike Adenuga produced six of his eight children and they enjoy a wonderful relationship despite no longer being married. Emilia enjoys her life attending to humanity and going on vacation. Adenuga's second wife, Titi Adenuga. Titi is known for her philanthropic work, particularly in the area of education. She is also recognized for her contributions to the business world and was named as one of the 100 most influential women in Africa in 2016. Despite the fact that they share the same father, each of Mike Adenuga's children is different. They each have their own goals and life values. Mike Adenuga has tried to teach them to be hardworking, persistent and honest and to use their talents to achieve their goals. They are surrounded with wealth, but they have managed to each carve their own path. Just like their father, they do not overexpose themselves to the public. Adetutu Oyinda Molemilia is the oldest child of the Nigerian oil tycoon, but she, like all of her siblings, keep a mostly private life. The former Konoi board member was a sociology major at the University of Maryland. She now lives with her husband in Atlanta, where she is currently a fashion trader. The savvy businesswoman also runs a company that helps Nigerians purchase goods from the United States. Prince Babajid Michael once served as an executive in his dad's oil conveyance organization, Kone, but has shown a desire to be his own man by his diversifying into wine trading. Following in the footsteps of his billionaire dad, Jide is CEO of a champagne company that has sole distributorship rights of select champagnes in Nigeria and other parts of West Africa. Eniola Adenuga is the executive director of Conway and is a key figure in the family business, Globacom as well. Eniola has been taking strides after his father's entrepreneurial achievements. He was born in the United Kingdom, received grade school education in Lagos, Nigeria, and graduated with a degree in business management from Northeastern University in Boston. In 2019, he led a breakthrough for Globacom by working on a green initiative to reduce carbon monoxide emission. For Conoil, Eniola has successfully negotiated rigs and other drilling services with various local and international contractors for various oil blocks. Tunda Paddy Aboled is an entrepreneur, philanthropist and investor. 
Paddy left the family business in 2013 and moved to London to venture out into his own business pursuits, including telecommunications, oil and gas, and real estate. He felt that his experience as director of his father's telecoms division prepared him well for the challenges. Paddy is also known for his active presence on social media and has shared insights about his personal and professional experiences. Fola Shawde is the youngest of the billionaire daughters. She was destined for a career in the legal field as she graduated with a degree in law from the British University in 2015. At her graduation, her sister and mother came to support her. Today, she is excelling in the business of law as a certified barrister and solicitor of the Supreme Court of Nigeria. Abimbola Adenuga is a very successful young lady who is doing very well for herself. She has been at the helms of affairs at her dad's company, Konoil, for many years now and has exhibited unrivaled performance. She is the group executive director and she is the only child on the board of directors at Konoil. Adeniyi decided to take the technology route and is currently a data analyst and growth strategist by profession. Just like the rest of his siblings, he has a high educational profile. He earned both a Master of Engineering in Chemical Engineering as well as a Master of Science in Business Analyst. He has helped with the family businesses in the marketing department as well as an economic analyst. Bella Disu is building two multi-million dollar shopping malls, one in Lagos, Nigeria. Disu is also the founder and president of Bella Disu Foundation, a non-profit organization that provides education and employment skills to disadvantaged children. The French government presented Disu with a distinguished award in 2019 for her contributions to the preservation of arts and culture. Over one billion people live on the continent of Africa, but there are only 18 billionaires. And Mike Adenuga holds the distinction of being one of them. And the eight children we highlighted today are the heirs to his $4 billion empire. In the meantime, they are building their own families, their own businesses and their own legacies. Mike Adenuga and their mothers have done an incredible job fostering a sense of purpose in each of them. It's evident that their value system centers around education, curiosity, diverse experiences and the importance of giving back. I think we can confidently say that their relationship with money is that it's a tool to be self-sufficient. But it does not define who they are. Let's just hope when they inherit their father's wealth, they will leverage it effectively in ways that lift up individuals and communities in a sustainable way. We appreciate the fact that you stayed until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.